I'm Erin Carlson with Surf Fresh Media, and we're here with It's About Time at the National Science Teachers Association Conference 2014 in Boston. And I'm here with the esteemed Diane France to discuss all things STEM and her work and NSTA. So tell us about you and, a, and, a, and more about what you do. I'm a forensic anthropologist and I work with the human body. I am usually called into a scene or into a case by a medical examiner or coroner or law enforcement and they ask me to tell them about a body. And so it can have soft tissue on it so that um, when the body is decomposing then I can tell them a little bit about how long the body has been out there decomposing so that we can get them back to how long the, the body has been there and then so who is that person potentially compared against a missing persons list. Um, who possibly committed a murder in this particular case. And so I, I deal with that, that aspect of the, the human body. But also I do, as a forensic anthropologist, I look at the biological profile. So I'm looking at the age of the individual, sex, ancestry, stature, trying to get an identity on this individual, trying to get an identification. And it's important to do that sometimes even before you do DNA because you have to have DNA to compare to even if you take DNA from the body. You still have to do that biological profile. And then I talk to them about the circumstances surrounding death. We talk about blunt trauma, gunshot wounds, sharp injury, and so on. Just trying to give them a picture of the last moments of this individual's life and who this person is. Okay. So what I'm doing with this particular program, I was asked by Texas Instruments, I work with the National Academy of Sciences uh, with their um, education program to try to educate entertainers about the real science behind Hollywood. And so this is called the STEM Behind Hollywood. And what I'm doing is just acting as an advisor for one of their modules about forensics. They have some other really cool modules. They have one about zombies, and they have one about, about space, and they have one about superheroes that's going to come out pretty soon. But I'm helping them with the forensics module. And so we're just going through the whole pattern, the whole, the whole story behind decomposition and the process of decomposition, and, and then how long it takes for a body to get to that particular stage of decomposition. So that's what I'm doing with them. And what kinds of uh, Hollywood, are you working with any specific Hollywood studios? Producers? I'm really not. No, I'm really not. Not at this point. I have in the past. I've worked a little bit with them, but but not so much at this point. Um, but the, it's this is all about giving science, injecting true science into Hollywood stories. So. CSI and all of the other kinds of shows. We need to get the real science into Hollywood. And they're doing pretty well already, but that's what this program is all about. And uh, speaking of like CSI, Bones, right. um, you know, different you know, crime novels, right. there's a real kind of interest in forensic science. Uh, oh, it's lately. hot. It's hot. It is hot. Yes. Um, but is hot. you were there, like before anybody. <laughs> well, I wasn't Holly there before anybody. I'm not that old. But no, no, no. <laughs> I meant you were like doing this before anybody, sort of. Not, started. no, not before any everybody. But I certainly got into the field before it got as hot as it is right now. Um, I got my PhD in '83. <clears throat> I was board certified in '89, and so I've been working on it for a long period of time. But now I go to meetings. I go to, to forensic anthropology meetings and oh my gosh the room is full of students and they all want to be a forensic anthropologist it is that hot right now that it's it's unstoppable but the really good thing about this about Texas Instruments and the whole stem behind Hollywood is the fact that they can put the true science into the students hands and then put it into the classroom so that it's really interactive. I'm just so impressed with this whole program that they are just, they're doing so much to try to get the students really focused and interacting in the classroom and to get the teacher, give the teacher some of the tools to be able to get those kids really interacting. And speaking of zombies, I mean... You're not going to call me a zombie, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so speaking of zombies. Speaking of zombies, what about zombies, you know, interest kid. What, what's the fascination with zombies? I have no idea. <laughs> um, but it's, it is one of those things that I think it's not just kids who are interested in it. A lot of adults are interested in it too. So that's one of the, one of the modules here. 
but it, it's people should look this up online because it is the, the whole stand behind Hollywood and through Texas Instruments and then take a look at some of these things. The, the um, it's it's just amazing. The one of the cool things about about this program, but also about the zombie part of this program, is the fact that it not only talks about zombies, it's trying to bring mathematics into into the whole discussion about zombies. And so you know, if you have one zombie infecting another zombie who infects two zombies and so on, it, you, can, you can calculate through these programs, you can calculate just how fast it would take for this, this this infection to go through an entire population at different rates so you can adjust the rates at which this this whole infection will go through the population zombie 2 is the humans fight back and so that it's wonderful it's wonderful and so now they're getting into okay what can we do to try to fight back and it gets into the science of it it's not just all mathematics it gets into the science of it and they're talking also about okay so you have a zombie who's walking around like this what does that do to the brain what does this infection do to the brain and what parts of the brain have to be infected for a zombie to act like a zombie and that's just one of the cool things that, that, okay, they're getting into the science of it, but then all of a sudden they're learning about parts of the brain and what parts of the brain do. Yeah. And it, yeah. it's, it's, it's like amazing. The, like the amygdala, am I saying it right? It shuts down. The yes. frontal lobe shuts down. Cerebellum. Yes. It, yeah. Exactly. It's, abs it's just wonderful. And then they come away learning so much more about they do. the they brain. Do and the human that's body right. that's that they right. ever thought that. That's right, and with all these modules, it isn't just about, okay, let's just do the modules and we'll get through it. What it does, and they're designed for this, which is, is just wonderful, and I had nothing to do with this, but, but what they are designed to do is to get some questions out there to the students and give the teachers a jumping off point. So the teachers can then get into all of the other aspects of science and epidemiology for the zombies and just get into all the different things. With, a, with, with the decomposition, the forensics module, they can get into, okay, one of the basic premises is that, that heat in a really hot environment, a body will decompose faster. I mean, it's just common sense, right? A body will decompose faster than it will in a cool environment or in a cold environment. And so then they can get into the, the discussion of, okay, let's talk about chemical processes. Let's talk about reaction times. Okay, what does heat do to basic reactions? Well, it speeds it up. And so they can talk about chemical reactions. They can talk about those kinds of things that are not specifically just in this module, but it just gives them a jumping off point to just go way beyond. Excellent. Yeah. And um, what's your advice to, um, to a young person who wants to become a forensic scientist? There are all kinds of forensic science. Basically, forensic science is the application of scientific techniques to answer medical legal questions. Okay, so it isn't just forensic anthropology. It's it's also chemistry and toxicology and and engineering and all kinds of science that can answer medical legal questions. So students can get into forensics. It does not have to be forensic anthropology and dealing with a dead body, but it can also be any kind of science that can be applied to answering these these medical legal questions. So the students really have to know what turns them on, what really gets them interested and captures their attention, and then pursue that and just sort of work out how it can be applied to answering medical legal questions. And they might work in a crime lab, they might work on their own, they might work in a university, or something like that, but they can still be a forensic scientist. What turned you on about it? Well, I wanted to be a marine biologist. And I went to college, I wanted to be a marine biologist for my whole high school, and even into grade school. And so I got to college and took some biology classes, and as an elective, I took a physical anthropology class. And there were bones laid out on the table, and there was no looking back. <laughs> I mean, I knew right there that the kinds of mysteries that are in those bones, the kinds of things that I can get out of those bones, the kinds of things I can answer about this individual and about what happened to this individual, the, those kinds of puzzles just, I, I couldn't get away from it. I was working there and luckily I had a professor who would who would stay long hours so that I could stay long hours to look at the bones and, and to play with them and get the feel of them and look at the morphology and, and just read the stories from the bones that he gave me the opportunity to just pursue it to just 
to a great degree. I mean, it, it, it just, the more I studied, the more I loved them. And I knew I had to get a PhD, and I knew I had to go on and do this for a living. Well, thank you so much, Diane. Uh -huh. It was sure. a pleasure. Uh, thank you me too. so much. Uh -huh. uh, Erin Carlson with Served Fresh Media, and it's about time signing off at the National Science Teachers Association Conference 2014. Yeah.